Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Darksiders. I'm Nick Primer and we are here in the, the Black Throne. I almost said the Iron Throne again, two episodes in a row. Quite talented. Um, you might see that the bottoms and tops of these are, in fact, made out of portals. Trying to remember how to do this. There's just one of these, there's two of these. That face right there, I believe, is supposed to be Strug. Straga again, for those of you that uh, don't remember. Now that I'm seeing it do this, can I... can I go through... is it done moving? <laughs> Okay! Well, now we can jump up there. You know what, I think maybe I was supposed to try to get... Yeah, I was supposed to try to get on top of this so I could actually get up around that room. Um, so I probably need one on top on there and the other one on here in order to do that if I were wildly guessing. Uh, I'm gonna move that over here just because it's closer. What? What just happened? Oh, because I... Let's actually, so let's let's make sure to wipe the slate clean here. So we don't have any portals out right now. Wait for this to get up because as soon as I knock that one, nope. And it doesn't matter which one is on which side. Whew. 
Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and refill the health. Let's just do both of these. Why not? Ooh. Oh, excuse me. I get about one good sneeze a day. Oh, and it always seems to happen when I'm recording. Sometimes I get more than one, but uh, as far as I'm aware, I'm not sick. This is uh, just kind of the status quo for me. So before we do that... Actually, the Horde Seeker, which is like the compass. Oh no! So this will show where uh, where all the objects are. Uh, I still have- I didn't ever find the map. And it's kind of an interesting thing with this, uh, and it's something worth mentioning, is how much- how great, uh, Nintendo, in general, is at doing certain things. Uh, ooh. Hello. Quick freeze there for a second. Sorry, people. Oh no. Hey, sorry for that, people. I'm actually gonna leave that in, I think. Uh, but uh, we're back. I clicked off because uh, I wanted to make sure that uh, Facebook was not going crazy for a reason. This time, there are these covers over the ground. Hey, buddy. It's like, well, that's great, but I need a, uh, I need that to happen to two of them in order to actually do it. See, one of the things about these grand wind-ups that a lot of them do... It's not doing the right one. Look at how long that wind-up is. I didn't have it charged up enough on the other side, I guess? I don't know. Hey, buddy. Oh, that was super delayed. Oh, 
probably don't want to do it while he's in the middle of his wind-up, though. Jesus, but he's always in the middle of his wind-up. I always get a little uncomfortable when people are nice to me. <laughs> uh, just Facebook stuff I'm talking about right now, why Facebook is going off. Uh, it's because people are being nice to me and I'm just kind of like, what do you want? This action here. Damn it, okay. Those are all in position. <laughs> this thing. Ooh. It's getting a bit late, people. So this is an interesting puzzle we have here. Because we're trying to bounce it off of everything and into there. Uh, and it has to come off of one of these down here. You know what? There's a chest. It's shown the chest over here. I did not want that to happen. That was not like the worst thing that could happen, but it was not what I had intended. I just wanted the whatever's in the chest. Okay, now we can go back out. I have to set these at the right heights in order to do this. So that will hit that, which will hit that. Right? So if I put it. Oops. Shit. Okay. Well, that's going to shoot across there. 
which is going to bounce off that and then into there. Um, uh. Okay, let's get these back to how I can get back up there. Because, yeah, what we need to do right now is figure out how to position these. Because I think... Shoot, you know what? Sorry, I'm coming, coming back down here to look. This, if we shoot out, it'll bounce off that. This, we need to not have a thing on it. So, if I can hit that top portal position... ...from up here... Oh, whoa! Okay, I was thinking I needed to be a lot, uh, a lot further down. But so this one we don't want. Right? Okay. Yes! Okay! I'm not used to, like I said, I'm not used to people being nice to me. I'm uh, used to being on my own. Um, it's not to say I don't have friends or anything, but uh, I don't really rely on people too much. actually what I want to do here. That basically will shoot right through the whole thing. Yep, okay. So we're back to the center arena. Well, I guess not yet. <laughs> If I just hit that one, what does that do? <laughs> Dang. Okay, I was thinking that might... Might 
So I think I have to go on that pedestal over here to finish this one to be able to trigger all three of these. But then that still begs the question of where I put the portals. going into that. Okay, so I need a portal over there. And then one on the wall up over here. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just waiting for this. Uh oh, uh oh. I think I can reach that from over here. Oh no! <laughs> okay. So yeah, this is uh, there's a lot of waiting in this episode. I'm sorry about that, people. But uh, do it as quick as I can. Yep, that's what I was trying to do. That was close. <laughs> I'm tired of this room though, and I want to progress. Ooh. Yeah, so this this dungeon is significantly longer than the others, because I believe we have a whole other wing to go to. Unless I'm wrong about that. But I don't think I am. This is kind of a cool effect I like. Not the loading screen, the uh, swirling bits. We have to wait for this to come around because I wasn't quick enough. Uh, <laughs> some more waiting! Yay! Heaven waits. The council ties our hands. To question them is to question the creator. 
Do you believe you know better? Yes, old friend. I do. When the seals are broken, Hell will send its chosen to declare battle rights. Their leaders will be gathered in one place, and there, we will sever the head of the beast. The Hell God stands ready. Breaking the seals will trigger the end war. The kingdom of man is not yet strong enough. Earth will be destroyed. There will be no war, Azrael. We will crush the Dark Ones before it's even begun. The pact is a sacred covenant. Even in victory, we will face the wrath of the Council. They will arrive to find the seals intact. And it will be our word, Heaven's word, against that of the Prince of Lies. Now do you see? The seals will be reforged. All will believe that Hell's legions invaded and were delivered to justice by our hand. For the glory of the light, will you do this? No, oh, Asriel. You old fool. Confession. My service to the Council is ended. Getting some stuttering in the video. Hope it's not bugging the people. Made you. We owe. I'm not done until I find the destroyer and shut him down. Balance. Remember. Get up. Azrael lives until he stops being useful. After that. You will do your duty. So that right there is a pivotal, pivotal scene. Uh, for those of you that weren't following along, uh, our whole mission to come back here was... Yeah, okay, Azrael, I heard you the first time. Uh, our whole mission was to find who was responsible for starting the apocalypse. Uh, since we claimed it wasn't us, the Council agreed to let us go uh, because they were just planning on killing us anyways. And we just found out who actually caused the apocalypse. It was Azrael here. Uh, it was actually three conspirators. It was Azrael, uh, Ulthane, the maker that gave us our gun, uh, with who we fought the Hellguard with. Uh, and then the last... He keeps, just keep repeating the same thing. Uh, and then... Uh, Abaddon, who died at the beginning of the game. Uh, so it's really, really interesting, because they were, they were overzealous, and they thought that they could de defeat the forces of Hell before anybody had the time to react, essentially. And instead, they ended up causing Earth to be invaded by the forces of Hell and totally destroyed. So they were just trying to get them gathered. Uh, but it does kind of 
give us the question of uh, if the seventh seal is not broken, then why did they all go to Earth rather than just what they wanted was for the demons to all gather together in hell uh, as if the apocalypse were about to happen and then kill them all and that's not what happened and so they're saying Abaddon himself was holding on to the seventh seal to ensure that it didn't get broken and they had Ulthane there to forge the sword that could destroy the seals and uh, also to reforge the seals once it was all over. So yes, this is this right here, this guy right here is responsible for all of this. Uh, in part, his complacency in allowing Abaddon to go through with his plan, basically. But all right. That was quite an explanation on my part, I hope you all understood, and uh, we're going to call it there for this episode, and uh, when we come back, we will uh, we will go grab the final beam and free Azrael here. Thanks for tuning in, and I will catch you on the next episode.